Alright, this video may not be for everybody, so watch carefully. We are going to analyze the eight eggs that did not hatch with Daisy. Check it out. These are the eight right here. If you're interested in seeing the inside and uh, understanding and analyzing what happened, were they fertilized, were they not, stay tuned if you did. <music> Well, like you know, anytime I have a failure, I like to do a little analysis on it and find out why it failed, whether it's my boat motor, my boat, or Daisy's eggs. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to first analyze each egg using what they call a candling chart. And I'll put a picture of it up on the screen, but this is it right here. What you do is you shine a light through it, through the egg, and it kind of gives you an indication of uh, at what stage that egg is. I haven't even looked at them yet. I don't know if they're all of them are right to the end and some of them never got fertilized or what. We're going to check it out right now. All right, let's do it. All right, first let's go ahead and grab all the eggs out and line them up here. We have eight of them to look at. Right off the bat, you can start to see some of them have some darkness in them. A lot of them have that darkness in them. But some of them like that one, I don't see any darkness in at all. So, But the light will tell us a little bit more about that, I think. And we'll try to separate them into whether they were the um, getting ready to hatch or not getting ready to hatch. And I'm going to just crack them on this thing here and just toss it in the trash cans. So first, let's take our light and see what, uh, what we're going to rate them at. Alright, this is egg number one. We definitely can see a hollow end right at the end there. And not a lot of darkness in it. Probably better do this at night, but we're going to do it right now. So you see the hollow end. So when I look at my chart, oh man, I'm looking at day 26 maybe on that one. So I'm going to try to start setting these up with the longest this way and the least this way. All right, let's see this next one. Okay, this one, I'm not seeing any, any, anything in it at all. So we are going to mark this one down to the lowest we can. I'm, I'm saying like day three. Because that's not showing anything inside of it. Okay, I'm putting that one all the way down to the end here. Next one. Look and see if we see any light color on the ends. But I do see some darkness in it right here. I hope you all can see that on the camera. But I'm not seeing any anything on the end right here that would indicate an opening. So I do see some darkness. So I'm going to put that like a 14. I don't know. All right, how about this one? All right, let's see what we got here. I'm not seeing anything now. I'm saying that was down here at the bottom to maybe five or six. This one, oh, I see a big lightness at the end of that one right there. Right in that end right there, you can kind of see it. All right, let me go ahead and try a little different light too. I think more light's getting dill. Let me go. All right, we got a brand new batteries on light. Maybe help us out just a little bit here, but let's see what we see in this one. All right, we see a nice void area in it. Hopefully, y'all can see that in the very front of it right there, which looks like it could be right up to last day 28. All right, and let's see what we got here on this one. Um, this one, it looks like the egg is it's actually loose inside. Look at it, it's rolling. If y'all can see it, it's rolling around inside. Like it hadn't done anything. I'm saying putting that one down to the end over here. Alright, here's another. It's got some really dark in it. It's capped, It's got a nice cavity at the very top right there. I'm putting that up here at the top. Alright, here's another one. Nice cavity at the top. Let's see if it moves. It does not move. When I turn it upside down like that last one does, I'm putting that one up just a little bit maybe right there okay so i got them lined up now way i think using the candling chart how they are so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna actually take a rock hammer here i don't think it matters what we break them up, break them up open with and start doing a little testing are y'all ready i'm thinking this one's gonna actually be just like a yolk inside oh and it is look at that oh it doesn't smell good either Okay, here's another one. That one would have definitely was not right. Whoa, no, we don't want to splat it all on us here. That's definitely not what we want to do. But that one still got the yellow inside of it right there. Look, 
That one was definitely not doing anything either. That one would definitely not hatch. Let's try not to get this thing splattered for them. Same thing with that one. See, it's got the yellow yolk in it. That one had done nothing. And this one definitely has some darkness on it. Wow, I'm really surprised at that. Ooh, that one doesn't look nice at all. I don't know if we even want to open that one up anymore. Well, there's a little, like it was starting to form something, but a long way from being something to hatch. Same thing with that one. Now it's still got the yellow yolk in it. Same thing with that one. This is the one. These last two are ones that I thought were farther along than the rest of them. And I think that is a fact. You can see a bird starting to form in this one right here. Look at that. Yes. You can definitely see the formation in this one. Where the other ones did not have that in it. That one was close. You can actually see the chick in it. Look. Oh, man. That one was very close. You can actually see the face and the head in that one. One more to go. Oh, that one. I did that one. Uh, man, make me sick here. Woo! Whoa, that does not smell good. Them eggs are rank. But we did do our little analysis and there was actually only one other egg that had the possibility of hatching all the rest of them were definitely nowhere near hatching so miss daisy was right uh, i feel bad that i even tried to help her you know move the nest at all because she knew probably that the rest of these weren't gonna hatch and she was ready to take those two to the water and she didn't need uh she didn't need me to try to move and try to help her get back in it because these were never uh hatch so good for miss daisy she knew what she was doing uh i wish i had, hadn't had messed with it now but you don't know you think you know because she was squawking so bad like she wanted to get back in the nest but she just don't know well we learned a little bit today maybe next year if she does it again we'll know a little better let her let her use daisy's judgment and not ours all right appreciate everybody coming along on this little adventure I, I guess you can call it adventure please click like comment below share subscribe to the gig master I gotta get out of this area right here. It's rough.